All right, so welcome to the Machona podcast. Um, it has been quite a while since uh, we last recorded. I do apologize for that. Um, I have been quite busy with other aspects of life, but it's great to be back uh, sharing ideas. I hope you have all been well and uh, keeping yourselves and your families safe. Uh, even though the COVID situation is starting to clear up a bit, um, we have less panic now. Um, it's still very important that we still um, try to keep safe at all times and uh, make sure that we are not putting others at risk as well. So anyways, um, we are starting a new series today. Uh, it's called Boy Meets Girl. And uh, this series is going, we are going to talk about the journey that a boy or a man um, takes um, to starting to think about having a girlfriend and um, then finding the right girlfriend and also um, most probably spending the rest of their life with, uh, with that girlfriend. So we'll just um, be trying to look at, you know, some pointers that the guys can take along the way uh, to be able to to find the right person for them. So today uh, we are looking at um, an article uh, from Elite Daily, uh, an online media house. Now, the introduction says, um, having a healthy relationship offers you consistency and stability. It may be more fun having a ton of girls texting your phone, but it's a lot more stressful trying to make all those girls happy. Get a girlfriend and direct that focus elsewhere. So pretty much this is um, what most of the guys go through or what we go through as guys. You know, there's um, a a time in life where, you know, the, the girls start to enjoy your company or they just enjoy the man that you're turning into and so uh, you in most cases you know start to take advantage of that and um, you end up having five or six people that you're talking to Um, but as as much as as fun as that could be um, if you are really thinking of you know like settling down with someone then you definitely aren't going to make all those people happy so this is where now you need to um, zero your attention on one uh, somebody that uh, you would be able to uh, then turn all your focus on and uh, be able to build something now why do you want to build something or a relationship with someone so the first thing is um a clear direction of focus so although your single homeboys are making the single life seem awesome as it is um, having a healthy relationship with a girl can enhance your overall stability girls are the driving force of male behavior and uh, you know whilst your male counterparts are spending money on drinks every night or um, you know spending countless nights you know sending texts to numerous girls who aren't interested you on the other hand have better things to do and um, having a girlfriend will allow you to direct uh, your focus on things you enjoy most such as art your career or any other hobbies you may have now a disclaimer on this one i think um being able to have somebody who will give you that much of support um, for your hobbies and um, your art or career, Um, you need somebody with um, a similar focus in life. You need somebody who understands, you know, your particular hobbies or interests um, because girls can make or break a guy. You know, because in most cases, when you are at that level where you are looking to find someone, especially with our first relationships, guys, in as much as we are the chasers, but we are much more vulnerable as well because we are so much focused on pleasing this one person who has said yes to us. And uh, so we end up, you know, putting ourselves second and um, following whatever they bring up or whatever they suggest. So if you have somebody that 
does not really put much focus on your interests then you might get swayed and uh, end up doing something that you will later on regret in your life but if you have somebody who understands and um, um, you know maybe shares the same interests or um, a career goals as well then you would have a good chance of you know getting proper and uh, good advice for yourself and also that support as well that you need so the second um, reason is more goal oriented so after spending countless nights you know pillow talking with your girlfriend um, you may begin to open up and um, you know share your thoughts more on the future or more specifically your future um, because you have someone who cares for you other than yourself you now have a partner to join your dream team to combat each of your futures really if you have somebody that supports your vision um, then they are going to keep you on track um, and let's face it girls are a bit more mature and have the ability to keep guys more grounded and focused you know now don't get selfish uh, your job is to support her in her endeavors as well it becomes you know as, as it said a, the dream team so it becomes a team where um, you expect you know the girlfriends to support you in as much as you are going to support her as well because you are now supposed to combat your futures together so you start to help each other uh, learn to build foundations so whilst she's building her foundation you're also building yours and in the hopes that one day you will join forces more officially and uh, be able to to build something wonderful so find somebody who's goal oriented and um, if they have similar goals as you that's a plus but you can also work around you know supporting each other regardless the third, uh, third one the third point is a mature idea on opposites attract so your girlfriend is not going to be the same as you in fact she may be the polar opposite so the two of you will come from a different culture family and social background learning to work through problems with someone who is the polar opposite will enable you to increase your overall patience for diverse backgrounds on every frontier not just with your girlfriend but with the world so um, this is the problem that most of us um, you know guys come across you want somebody who is similar to you this is to say somebody who um, enjoys the things that you do that's not a bad thing really it is it is good if you do find somebody who um, enjoys all the things that you do but in most cases it's it's far-fetched because you are a guy that is a girl so in most cases you're not really going to find somebody who enjoys everything that you do but what you need to is you know be open-minded and um, leave room for differences and then try to work with each other to be able to find you know those common interests and common goals and um, as opposites attract you know those little differences will be teaching you something you know different in, in your life and she'll be learning something different as well and at the end of it all you broaden your experiences and be able to uh, to to gel together uh, so to speak don't expect to find somebody who is exactly like you but learn to uh, be able to um, work around with opposite um, characteristics and uh, and be able to to build something from there the other point is a shoulder to cry on maybe not to cry on really most of the guys would say they never cry but uh, definitely some someone to or a shoulder to to lean on um, so so many uh, mishaps occur for a guy in his early 20s and sometimes early 30s as well um, whether it be getting arrested a uh, bit of a stretch um, or getting fired from your job or just being a complete idiot now that is something that we can relate to we are idiots at 
some point so you need that um, that person around who won't pass judgment and serve as your distraction from distraction i love that distraction from distraction so um, girls are much more compassionate than your male counterparts you are wasting time venting to them they will just tell you to drink a beer or get over it in in most cases i have noticed that you know uh, girls have a usually they do have a complete um different you know a outlook on an issue you know you can have you know um, a, a problem or an issue that you're going through and uh, when you talk to your male counterparts the um, the ideas or the advice that you would get from them will in most cases differ from uh, you know what you might get from the female uh, version or the female uh, side and uh, in most cases you know because um, females or girls uh, in most cases would um, react to a situation in a compassionate way which means they would be looking to to make you happy or to um, to to calm you down when you are going through uh, something that is stressful um, whilst your, your your male counterparts are just more focused on getting the problem solved they don't really care about you know like your emotional side of things they just want to get that issue resolved whilst our female compatriots will be um, looking to our emotional side as well so that's why you do need you know to have that shoulder to cry or lean on um, when you go through such things money saver <laughs> okay some would disagree but having a girlfriend is more cost effective for your wallet in no way am i implying you grab some sugar mama hmm. or start using some low self-esteem girl for her bank account but more of a utilize your resources uh, type of approach now um in your early 20s sometimes even mid-20s and late-20s money is always the issue most likely both of you are pretty broke but together you always are pretty well off so with your long-time girlfriend you can now split the cost of the following items you know rent gas food and hotel for your vacation um, because you can only vacation if you have extra cash and besides going on several dates with one girl is cheaper than going on several dates with several girls because when you are going on dates with one girl you already know what each one wants um, rather than you know going on dates with several girls where you know you, you you don't know what they want so you're out there trying to impress them or they are out there trying to you know take advantage of that time that they they are spending with you um, and um, and really uh, going deep into your pockets but if it's somebody that you have been with for some time then they understand your financial situation and um, then they will be uh, they will be more understanding and they would be actually even helping you to to save if they are the right person really and here it talks about you know being able to split costs um, I know in our society that's uh, that's a bit of um, a difficult one because um, from what I have noticed uh, in our society at least um, girls are the ones that expect guys to spend and um, but this is not saying that you won't find somebody who's um, who thinks um, more on the the helping each other in financial situations but yeah so if you do find somebody that's um that has the best interest for you then obviously and if they are a team player then they are definitely going to chip in and um, you'll be able to, to 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 have a bit more money to save which if you are in it for the long haul then you're going to to use that money later on and be able to um, to build your lives with it more adventures always having a homie i mean who's really going to um go and see you know those girly movies 
with you. It's not definitely not going to be the guys. You might as well just watch or some by yourself because it's a bit weird watching, you know, like those chick flicks. But um, having a girlfriend allows you to indulge in so many other activities that you can't do with your male friends. And besides, some things are more enjoyable if someone of the opposite side is present. You can always count on your girlfriend to roll out with you in case your boys sell you out. Now, boys will sell you out very quickly when they see a female or a girl. And uh, so if you have plans with the boys and uh, all of a sudden a girl says, oh, I'm, I'm free tonight or I'm free today, then definitely you would expect those plans to be cancelled and hence you've been sold out. But, um, you know, having if you have a girlfriend, then you always have somebody to, to count on because in as much as you want to spend you know time with them they also want to um to do the same with you uh, if you're lucky and um so this 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 kind of you know gives you a friend always or a homie um, that you can always um ex depend on or even if you're you're not seeing each other every day and it doesn't mean when you're in a relationship you see each other every day but uh, you still do have somebody that you can um, easily pick up the phone and um, and and talk to and uh, be able to um, to to just share you know those 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 times um, with the other point is the ability to become selfless now this is the best quality to obtain from a relationship and should be the best one really um, because we live in such an individualistic society and for the millennials uh, that means complete selfishness selfishness is an ugly uh, trait and will only lead to bad things happening in this society obtaining the ability to care about someone else other than yourself is um, all this generation needs to fix its problems or some of the problems so having a girlfriend will all in all teach you that it's not always about you and um, that's that's that that not just teaches you about you know like relationships but um, life in general um, we always need to be able to look at people and have that caring um, a heart towards them and um, you know when you have grown up by yourself you don't really have that because um, when you think about you know doing things you're only thinking about yourself but if now you have somebody besides you and uh, you have that sense of care towards them um, so this is going to really teach you a bit more on how to share your life how to share your interests how to you know just uh, include the people in your life you know when you are thinking about doing something you are thinking on how the other person is going to uh, find that particular activity as well and this is where you start to grow now this is where you start to learn about you know um, having a family or looking after a family because you are not just yourself now and um, so yeah these um, these have been you know some of the pointers to begin with this is has just been an introduction really um, on the the new series that we have started which is called boy meets girl and this has been uh, why a girlfriend and so if you have any other um, points that, um, of course, we have left out a lot of points, but if you have uh, some points that you think would be more interesting, then you can um, share them with me, um, either from my website, um, machona.com. So that's www.machona.com. Uh, you can be able to hear the, the podcast and also uh, read the the, the, the pointers that I've just been mentioning and also be able to leave comments as well and um, I, there, there's also a Facebook page which is um, Machona so you can look out for Machona on Facebook as well and you can be able to comment on there you know you can be able to like the page and um, Instagram um, 
I don't really use Instagram that much, but uh, you can find me on there as well. And um, I think it should be Machonas um, on Instagram. And um, you can be able to leave some comments there or DM me as well. Uh, same as Twitter. Twitter, it's, uh, it's Machona, at Machona. And uh, you'll be able to DM me or, you know, at me yeah, on, on, on Twitter as well. And uh, so that will just be um, a, an interesting way to getting to hear what your thoughts are on the, the, the topic. And also, you know, just getting a more um, of what you would want to hear in the, in the, the, next, um, the next episodes as well. So from me, um, it's, uh, it's have a great week, uh, look after yourselves and um, um, always keep in mind that the person you might be sitting next to or the person you might be walking next to, you know, might be carrying something. You don't know where they have been, so always look after yourself and uh, keep yourself safe and uh, look after your families, as we always say. So have a great week. And it's been much honor. Much honor, I had no one.